Good day, fellas. I hope you are ready for your new yearly dose of skill. Today we are going to play with a perfect sniper schnitzel and I felt like I want to be a bit of the pain in the butt for someone today. So why not to play with Leo 1? It is pretty much a, sni a perfect sniper schnitzel with laser accuracy gun. Um, I think the tank is very, very nice and um, it has just great combination of the things. It's quick, it's beautiful, and it is capable of hitting tanks like EBR without bigger problems whatsoever. Um, so it is per pretty much perfect EBR counter to say that, oy oy, the least. Enemy 140 is not enjoying himself. I can promise you that, fellas. He is not having a good time. By the way, our main goal here is just to, t to start the game from sniping from the back. That's all we want to do. We want to try to punish enemies once or twice. And we are going to be set for this game. We are going to feel pretty great. By the way, I don't know have you noticed, but I am getting spotted. What that could mean, that could mean they have, um, they have a light tank over there. I have a feeling, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, they have a light tank sitting in this position. We will try to blind fire him, and if we are going to do the things properly, he is going to die. Okay, our, I did not really want to block our Jack Pizda for obvious reasons, right? Okay, he is out. It's time to get involved. Enough of sniping. Skill! Mmm, he was in the lower part. I see, I see. Pretty smart play, fellas. This is a very, very good position uh, to play for a light tank. It is absolutely amazing position to play here. Um, I need to figure out how we can get involved and how we can spank enemies like there is no tomorrow. And to be fair with you, I am struggling a bit. Uh, wow, very nice blind shots by Progetto. Now the question is, how do I want to approach enemies? Do I want to make pressure like this or do I want to make pressure like this? I mean, this side is looking definitely weaker for our team. Budget is getting involved against the Rhino. For some reason, I don't want to make pressure like this and I can tell you, I changed my mind. I changed my mind just like so. I know it sounds very, very weird how many times you can change your mind in a couple of seconds, but sometimes it happens. Um, I was I was pretty much thinking I do not want to make pressure in front because Fava can sit here in the back. And since Fava is not sitting in the back, we can simply get involved here and we can start uh, punishing him like there is no tomorrow. Now. What this tank has, this tank has extremely, extremely good high explosive ammunition. What that means, that means we can spank enemies like there is no tomorrow. As an example, now we are going to go against the STB. And with all honesty, this STB has no chance to kill us. He is going to hit us probably twice, uh, two times more. But in the end of the day, he is dead. Actually once, because he is ammo react more likely. Have a good one, my man. It was a pleasure to have a conversation with you. Meanwhile, Mr. E4 sitting, um, sitting near the red line. Beautiful shot. Luckily, he uh, did not penetrate us with high explosives. And now this is, in a way, farming simulator. I am very, very well aware of that my um, gunner is dead, but it doesn't change absolutely anything. No? And now we need to run. Okay, not the smartest choice, fellas. I lost way more hit points than I initially wanted to, but that is completely fine. I grabbed some balls and everything is Gucci. Meanwhile, T100. Both of us are running away while saying, Run, my man, run! Run! Run, mate! Run! We need to, we need to run, otherwise it is so game over, it is so game over. Run, my man. <laughs> Look at this, this is like Armageddon, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. We are running while having our tail down by saying, kew, 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 kew. <laughs> and we are saying, not today, you are not going to get me. Okay, that is fine. Eventually this mm, 430U 
he is going to make pressure like this. Whenever he will, we are going to be prepared to spank him like there is no tomorrow. That is the plan, that is the hope, and that is the dream. Okay, let's see. No, mister, it's about the time to make a mistake. Speaking of mistakes, oh yes, he's brave. Oh, I like how brave he is. Yeah, you go. I will load um, golden APCRs at this point. I cannot... I do not have angle to shoot him. That is a bit of the problem. Mm, you know what? I am actually feeling that comfortable to go up like this. The main reason why am I feeling so comfortable, fellas, is because this guy shouldn't spot me. I do not really think he has a chance to spot us. And in this kind of situation, we are just simply working him out. Oh, he is angry. Oh, he is not happy. Oh, he is going straight to the garage, fellas. And kudos to our light tank. Look at this magnificent mother trucker. He is running like crazy. Like crazy, man. He is spotting. He is running. He is helping us. Buddy, give me New Year kiss. Okay. What is what is the plan now? We know that one fort is down to fartable from very first moment of this game. Very, very unlucky for him. And we need to figure out how we can break down the enemy defense. What is happening in my head, fellas? What is happening in my head? Eeeh, not much to be fair with you. I can hear the ocean. That's what I can hear, fellas. Okay. Let's get a high explosive on for Arta. And uh, Happy New Year. Such a beautiful tank, honestly. It's not my favorite tank, but I know this tank has extremely huge potential to, um, to carry the games and to make enemies uh, question their life choices, to say that the least. Look at this, side shot with high explosives, hi yeah. greetings my man, enjoy yourself. I have a pixel here as well, but I think he wants to be safe. Mm, if I can shoot Arta and 140, I shoot Arta. Skill why you shoot Arta? Yeah, fellas, whenever you are seeing Arta asking to take one for the team, I have no other option. Now the question is how 140 will try to approach us, because I'm down to fartable. Is he sitting here or is he trying to make a bit of pressure for me? Um, I think that's clear. He's trying to get involved and he is going straight to the garage. Beautiful game. Okay, that is the game to start the new year, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. This is literally my first battle of, of World of Tanks in 2023. 6,000 damage, 800 assisting damage, so pretty much 7,000 combined. Kudos to this light tank. Fab, you played like a bloody uh, Terminator. You killed them all and without you, we would not be where we are now in the same time. And also we made ooh, 183,000 profits uh, and people are dreaming about the tier 10 premium tanks. Tier 10 premium tanks are existing already. What are you talking about? Uh, now, for real. Good game. I'm happy with this. Let's keep up the momentum and couple of more games like this. Let's go. Okay, round number two. Let's see what round number two has uh, to offer for us. Uh, first of all, we have extremely good matchmaking um, in a way that we have a huge advantage, right? We are playing against the lower tier, so, uh, you know, we are a kind of top dog. That automatically means we need to do at least 5,000 in order to feel successful. At least this is what I have in my head. Obviously, this position is the top-notch position to start the game from. Skill, what do you mean? The thing is, you are arriving here... And you are pretty much punishing every single gentleman who is crossing, uh, who is crossing the line. It is very, very important thing to say. Kunze, greetings. This gun is absolutely sick, fellas. It truly is. Meanwhile, Jack Tiger is saying, "I will cross. I will cross." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Have fun. <laughs> Have fun crossing me. Uh, okay. Tip for every single of you: if you are having the same situation. If you are playing in in the south or you are playing in the north, doesn't really matter. You take safe road. You take tar 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 like this, and you take tar 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 like this. You don't go in between. 
because otherwise you are going to finish like this Jack Tiger, not very happy and with a shit start of the new year. Keep this in mind, fellas. Keep this in mind. Okay. Uh, one thing to highlight of all this, enemies have no heavy tanks. I mean, this much making overall has no heavy tanks. What that basically means, that basically means we need to get involved somehow on the field. Which is not going to be so simple and so easy, but it is definitely doable. Now, we would love to see this gentleman making a silly goose mistake, and if it would happen, um, we are chilling and we are relaxing. One more thing to say about the Leo. Leo is, it is extremely easy to make a mistake with this vehicle. You have no armor whatsoever. What no armor means to you, no armor means to you. Um, any time you are going to fart, there is a big chance uh, you are going to have diarrhea and it's going to be a bad thing, right? By saying this, what I'm trying to say is any mistakes will lead you for a new underwear. Uh, that's what I am trying to say, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. It is extremely important thing to say. Okay. Plenty of the triangles in the back. Now, let's see. Can we spank someone sitting here? I am getting spotted, but it is not indicating absolutely anything. They might have people here. They might have people here. They might have people here. It is indicating absolutely nothing to me. And once again, I see our team is winning and now I am in the situation when I kind of want to make just tiny touch more pressure for the enemies and try to craft the new angles how I can start punishing them. It's important thing to say, fellas. It is very important thing to say. Now Iron Arn is going to wait for me and I can tell you exactly what that means. If I peek, I, toy, I take 360 damage or something. So I do not necessarily want to do that. Meanwhile, Progetto greetings. Don't you want to peek for me? Oh, come on, buddy, peek. Just peek, my man. Uh, I don't know, did you notice that, but um, someone was trying to hit uh, us from here. Uh, some kind of triangle, some kind of tank destroyer. Doesn't really matter, to be fair with you. Okay, Progetto might try to check out who is living uh, behind this corner. Let's give him a bit of time. Actually, if I am doing my calculations properly, should be able to hit him. Yep, I can. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 fellas. By the way, until we have this, I am not uh, um, in that big of the trouble at this point. I am just chilling and I am enjoying myself. Whenever situation will change, right? Whenever we are not going to have anyone on this corner, then we are going to have a bit of the different problem and different situation in the first place. That is fine, doesn't really ma matter. He ammo reacted me, oh, I thought I'm not exposing myself, it's okay. The most important thing is he is dead. <clears throat> Even though I lost one, one third of my hit points, actually more likely uh, two fifths of the hit points, which is obviously more, but it is okay. That is fine. Uh, how to get involved and how to spank them like there is no tomorrow. This is what I have in my head at this point. Hmm. I need more fellas. Greedy, greedy, greedy skill. Greedy skill. I see the light on going like this. Oh, you lucky son of the banana. Oh, you lucky, lucky son of the banana. You should be in the garage, my man. Just saying. By the way, this guy is dead. Okay. Excellent, excellent, excellent. How to get more use? How to get more use? How to get more use? I believe it's um, clear at this point all I am doing. I am just simply... <coughs> I am just simply trying to figure out how we can make tiny touch more pressure for the enemies. That is all I am trying to do. By the way, I am 99% sure they have someone sitting in this bush here. Right? It is important thing to say. Progetto, 1.4 thousand hit points. Um, is he going to survive this? I really doubt it. I actually think he's a dead meat. So what that means for us? How about if we would grow some balls... Uh, and try to go for 
probably very unpopular uh, um, decision, but this should work in my opinion. I don't really want to burn to death, so let's fix the fuel tanks. And at this point we are playing. So, the whole idea here is just to make pressure like this, to find the Scorpion Rudes, actually Scorpion is spotted, so that means Rudes is sitting here, and pretty much destroy the Mr. Rudes. In fact, I am going to be brave and I am going to go straight. I am very, very well aware of that I could try to go like this, I, I know. I know I could have went like this, but I changed my mind. There is no time left whatsoever. And I really want to get 5,000 as well in this game, right? That is important thing to highlight. Mr. Udes, how are you doing? Stock Udes? Oh, it's even better, hello. That means I do not care about taking one more for the team. I am peeking sideways. And you know what is the best part of all this? He's not going to kill me. So I will give him a free shot. I don't really mind. Um, and I am not penetrating him. He's bending over, fellas. He, he was ready for me. He was saying, skill, go for it. Interesting, very, very interesting. Okay, I think uh, I made a bit of a mistake by shooting high explosives or I simply needed to aim just a tiny touch better. But it's okay, mistakes are happening once in a while. Now, Scorpion G is pretty much the last victim I am very interested in. Actually, looking into amount of the hit points, I am not really interested in him. Um, Iron Arnie, yeah, he is pretty much dead. If he is going to move back, he is dead. If he is not going to move back, he is dead. Quite big game for this matchmaking, to be fair with you. I felt like probably the biggest mistake was to go into the middle over there. I needed to figure out something else. Shame. Okay, all in all, we have 3,000 damage, 1.2 thousand assisting damage. Once again, not very happy about my performance, but it is how it is. Uh, fourth by experience, third by the damage, and we finish it with quite a bit of profits. Uh, let's hope the third game is going to be better. Let's go. Okay, last but not least, Empire's Border Tier 8 matchmaking once again. Looks like my father has a shift in Inver game, right? Um, jokes aside, I can only see only one way how to play this battle and, uh, and how we are going to do the things, we are going to take this position here because it is a key, fellas. It is extremely important in my humble opinion whenever you are playing south, you are going here. Um, no matter what pretty much because you can easily counter people who are going up like this and you can spank uh, people who are trying to make pressure like this. Pretty much this is the best way to do the things. Now, what we are expecting, we are expecting or I suppose to say what we are hoping for, we are hoping for someone to make pressure like this and oh boy, oh boy, mistakes he has been made, oh yes. Okay, I do not want to get spotted yet. I do not want to get spotted yet, not yet, not yet, not yet, bam, tracking shot, I was aiming for it, and now those two clueless pigeons, they are doomed, they are literally doomed, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing, I repeat, nothing you can do um, over there, and please, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, keep this in mind, this is why I am highlighting so much, never, ever, ever, ever do what enemies are doing here because uh, you will finish up or I suppose to say you will end up in the garage. This is not a good start to start the game to go up like this. This south side has advantage over there. That is a very important thing to say and if you will know this you are not going to make a silly goose mistake just like enemies did. Meanwhile, hey mate, I saw you fired. Good. Very, very good. By the way, we are feeling pretty well. Even though they have four guns here, we have three guns here, we have advantage uh, speaking about the positions. So we are just chilling and we are enjoying ourselves. Doesn't really matter. Okay, one more guy is arriving to the, to the play here. Still, it is changing absolutely nothing, fellas. We are still feeling very, very well. Bad shot by me. I could have spanked him way, way, way harder, and look at this, more and more and more enemies are arriving to the party, greetings, enjoying yourself, oh yoy, four guns, nyom, 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 now this is going to be a very simple example of all of this, whenever enemies 
are trying to take a um, position like they are trying to take, we are holding them with the least, um, with less guns, right? We can cause some sorts of crossfire, which is absolutely amazing. And this is exactly what we are looking for, right, fellas? It is very important thing to say. Scorpion is planning to peek, I'm telling you, he's considering his life options. I know I need to go for a base defense at this point, you know what? You're on your own, buddy. You're on your own, have fun. Uh, let's try to defend the base. I am going to be that guy who is going to decap the base and simply interrupt it, just in case. Now, if you would pay attention over there, we have uh, plenty of people who are going back, right? But it doesn't necessarily mean we are going to be able to deal with it. I mean, it doesn't necessarily mean they will be able to arrive here in time, right? That's the most important thing to say. Hmm. Smart Leo overcutting us completely and he's reloading quicker than I do. That indicates he might have bond rammer or something like this, which is not a good thing. Okay, let's reevaluate our life choices and the, our life options. Eh, I did not manage to do that. E, very, very bad. Okay, mistake from my side. I did not load the high explosive for the Leo. I could have loaded high explosives and I could have simply spanked him like there is no tomorrow. And he did extremely good job by overcutting our team, right? Now they have a gentleman who is capping the base, but I think we still have a chance to win this game, right? Looking into all of this, uh, this light tank was trying to help the Leo instead of capping the base and that might cost um, the game for them. So let's check it out. This is quite interesting stuff, right? 20 seconds left, Progetto needs to get involved no matter what. Škoda is the one who is capping the base. Now Progetto has three in the magazine, if I'm not mistaken, and the other guy is joining the cap. Ay, 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 ay. No! Unlucky. GG. Enemies played better, they deserve it to win this game. There is nothing to say. That Leo actually effed me up pretty damn good and I have a feeling he had better equipment than I did, so re he reloaded quicker. Either he had bounty or either he had the... Uh, bond equipment doesn't really matter, but I think he was reloading quicker than I did or maybe that's that was my brain saying that Nevertheless accept it. You cannot be winner all the time And I think we highlighted one of the most important things in this battle Aka um, how much of the advantage you are having in the middle right by taking middle from the south so 4.7 thousand damage, 1.5 thousand assisting damage, G bloody G. Um, we finished everything by being third by experience and by second um, speaking about the damage, right? And we made some credits as well. Still a bit disappointed. I did not realize that I can load high explosives to eliminate this gentleman. Either way, he did a great job. He countered us and we need to be humble in this situation, right? We made 85,000 credits as well and looking into the score, we played very, very well, fellas. We played for 4.7 thousand damage, 1.2 thousand assisting damage. Holy bananas, we are starting the year properly. Okay, uh, well, let's hope the year will look like this. Thank you very much for watching and see you very, very soon. Skill is out for today. Peace.